Ding dong, it's Christmas. Hello friends and Merry Almost Christmas. Today I would like to spend the entire video talking about all of the presents that I would like to receive this year. Just kidding, <laughs> that's not true. Actually, I wanna talk about something called Advent. So if you aren't sure what that is, don't worry, I've got you covered. Advent is a season of preparation for Christmas and it happens in the four weeks leading up to Christmas. And it's a way for us to purposely make time to prepare for Jesus's birth and to remind us how we need a savior. So there are some typical Advent themes, but today I'd like to focus on just three of them. Hope, peace, and joy. So there's a verse in the Bible that's from Romans 15 verse 13, and it says, May the God of hope fill you with all of the joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So let's talk about hope first. The verse we just read begins by calling God the God of hope. Now, having hope is not always our first reaction, especially in times that are really hard. It's easy to get caught up in all of the things that have gone wrong, and there doesn't seem to be any room then to hope for better things. Like, if we let someone down and it feels like there's nothing we can do to make it better, or if we fail a test and it just feels like the world is ending. And we may not have everything figured out, but Advent calls us to place our hope in God and trust that he'll carry us through it all. After all, we celebrate Christmas because God, who is totally powerful, chose to be born into this world as a helpless baby. Sometimes it's hard to believe in a God we can't see, but he chose to become someone we could see, touch, and love. Christmas is a reminder that God is not distant. He's right here. So there's a quote from someone named Desmond Tutu that I would just love to share with you. It totally defines what it means to hope. It says, hope is being able to see that there is a light despite all of the darkness. I just love that. All right, next up is peace. At Christmas time, we celebrate that Jesus came to earth to be with us and to show us how big God's love is. We celebrate how he came to earth and how he brought peace with him. And this peace is like no other. We have peace in our relationship with God and that allows us to be able to give him our worries and know that he's taking care of us. During Advent, we remember that he is peace. When we're stressing over an exam or if we're having an argument with a friend or if we're just freaking out, when we ask Jesus into our hearts, there is a peace beyond understanding that comes along. There have been times in my life where I have had to make some tough decisions, but I've prayed and I've given it to God, and there's just this sense of peace that washes over me, and I know that God has got it. And last but certainly not least is joy. This time of year, it's so easy to be filled with joy. We can look around at all the decorations and all of the celebrations and just feel like we're gonna overflow with happiness. But we can find a more meaningful and lasting joy than we can find in decorations or presents or candy canes. And let me tell you, I love candy canes and I find a lot of joy in them. But let's let our joy be deep and real. We can be filled with joy because Jesus came to earth. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. We can have joy because we know that we have received the best present, Jesus. Jesus' presence is our present. It's a tongue twister. We can have joy for those around us. Look at the people around us and really appreciate them and truly be happy to know them. And we can have joy because God loves us and he's got us. So let's be filled with hope and peace and joy. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Or morning or afternoon, or Merry Christmas to all and to all a good whenever you're watching this. Merry Christmas. Guys, is anyone gonna help me out of this thing? It's really pointy. <laughs>